Hello, everyone. This is Direwolf20 and... Bahamar. And welcome to episode 23 of Direwolf20 and Pahamar's Crash Landing series. What's going on, Pahamar? I'm trying to make a villager. Why are you trying to make a villager? Because what a villager ever do to you? I'm trying to make it. I'm like that's that means we're being nice. Oh, okay. If if you consider bringing a villager to this planet being nice, I don't know if I can be friends with you anymore. What if that villager gave you things? Define things. Stuff you would like. In that case, bring him along cuz that would be cool. We could also probably get him to kind of, you know, make stuff and, like, have other villagers. We could use the spawner I made. All right, what are we out of? Uh, we're out of nether ward and probably a little bit of gunpowder and glowstone as well. So what I've just done is I've moved the QED downstairs so that uh, okay. it's easy to siphon off the mob essence as needed. Right. We're getting low on glowstone. I should probably start sifting dust again. I could always switch the potion generator to use redstone, by the way. Do we even need it anymore now that we have this reactor? I don't know. You never hooked it up to our power system, so I'm confused by the witchcraft you have. Oh, you'd like it hooked up then, eh? I mean, like, if you want the generator to do anything, like, you probably have to run conduits and whatnot. Oh, we ran out of fuel as well. I'll uh, see. This is what happens when, you know, Pahamar is left in charge. All kinds of judgment going on here. Well, you know. Who's the guy who fell through the world in an earlier series? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know plenty. I have never fallen through the world in this series. I said a previous series. I don't know about any previous series. I believe the plural is Sirai. Sirai? I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. I, yeah, you know what? I kind of, I'm getting that. You, he's just all kinds of not nice today, guys. He's getting salty. Well, you know how it is. is uh, Fermented Spider Eye. Come on, elevators. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to need some sugar. Probably a couple mushrooms. Yeah. Do we have mushrooms? I thought we had. Yeah, we have them downstairs. That's right. Near this nifty area. Just want to make sure this thing doesn't blow up, because that would not be fun after crafting it. Getting there. Okay. Oh, Amar, I almost have your gift ready, by the way. You're making me something? Yeah. I call shenanigans. Oh, wow. Fermented spider eyes can't be made with the red mushrooms? I call shenanigans. I keep jumping on these fancy call, um, glowstone blocks, like thinking that they're an yeah. elevator. But they're yeah. Not. You know what? I do the same thing. We're not very smart. I would uh, tend to agree with you on that, sir.
And before people start yelling at me, yes, I realize that I'm not using an optimal... Oh, these don't hook up, do they? Dang. An optimal what? I'm just trying to hook up the um, conduits to the reactor, but we don't have a lot of conduits. So I was utilizing these redstone energy conduits. I see. That's better. Speed upgrades are like the greatest thing ever. Are you making more circuits? No. I'm making cool toys for you, sir. Uh-oh. Yeah. You're going to like it, though. I think you're going to like it. I worry. I would. Yeah, no, I definitely would. I'm just going to test it real quick here. In a moment. I want to let it be fully charged up before I throw it in the testing process. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. All right, Bahamar, are you ready for your present? Sure. Uh, you don't sound terribly excited. Oh, you're making me a fancy helmet. Here you go. It's on the ground. Try it on. Initializing heads up display. Oh, I'm going to have to move my map. Look upstairs, by the way. Wow. Do you see anything? I'm totally Iron Man. Right? Cool. How cool is that, huh? That is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades that can go into this thing. Um, I only put one in, but it can accept others, I believe, if I recall correctly. Sweet. I forget what the default range on it is, but I could throw range upgrades in there. I could also put block trackers, which I don't think we need. Um, I don't think we need the coordinate tracker. We, I could throw a range upgrade in. They're not terribly hard to get either, but I'm thinking I'm happy with it as is. We're, we're going to kind of have to test the range. Just keep in mind, if we need to extend the range of this thing, we can. I don't know that it can be enchanted, but I'm going to try because it's what I do. It's working, so it can be enchanted. I don't know what kind of enchants we'll get on it, but can't hurt to try. Did you notice it shows you like the armor I have on and everything? I hadn't noticed that. Right now I'm seeing a ton of squids. No, like mouse over me and you should see the armor I have on. Analyzing. Yeah, you do have to acquire a target. Camelback, in our boots, in our leggings, and you're holding a frying pan. Nice, right? Indeed. I wonder what it'll do if I shoot you with a rocket. Um, it would probably be very upset with you. Either either it would be upset with you or I would be upset with you. I'm not sure that I'm sold on that idea. I'm not sure that I'm sold on that idea. Anyway, the reactor is now hooked up to the power grid. Thank you, sir. If you're wondering, I had to steal one of the redstone energy cells. Pardon me if the mic just clipped there. And okay. uh, I had to put it underground to act as a connector between the redstone energy conduits and the hardened energy conduits. Okay. That's cool with me. You only had it as an extra battery anyways, so. Yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of carrying them around because we have so many. Instead of running conduits everywhere, which, by the way, generate heat, I've been just, you know, plopping a battery down and using it wherever it's needed. I'm hoping we're going to have enough mob essence for this to finish my helmet. I'm feeling like we might not. So I'm waiting for some I more mobs. I have stolen on. a ton of it for the uh, villager. For what? The villager. I told you. you're. Dude, when you Dude, got upset right. about it, I was already 99% done. I know. So you but were now like I don't have enough to party. enchant my awesome new helmet. Aww. Why is there a zombie in our basement? 
He is. Oh, it might be because I removed some torches. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Well, I needed to so that I could make a path. I see how it is. Oh, Pymar, what am I going to do with you? We're almost done here. I think a couple more mobs dropping from our spawner should finish the enchanting. I'm just kind of curious, like, if it's just normal helmet enchants or what the deal is. Go, zombies, go. Hooray! So you ready to go back to that underground city and see what we can come up with? Oh, nice. Projectile protection four, unbreaking three. Yes, please. Okay, you've got all the cool stuff. Isn't this cool? Yeah, I'm going to have to enchant mine, but I think we're going to need some more mob essence now, won't we? Did you play that game recently that was, um, like, about hacking and such? It was a very, like, a title game, like, very popular and basically involved hacking in the silliest of ways. Are you talking about Uplink? Which one? Uplink. No, a different game. Uh, anyway, he was inspired point? by that game, and you can use this helmet in one seven to hack anything redstone controlled. So you can like mouse over it from a distance and hit a button, and it'll hack it, and it'll like open a door, or flip a lever, or trigger a pressure plate, that kind of stuff. Oh, by the way, it drains power. So we need yeah. to recharge it. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say recharge it. I would say not wear it until we actually like go to where we want to go and charge it before we leave. And how does one or charge it? As well. What's that? How do you charge it? Uh, there's a pneumaticraft charging station downstairs. Oh, I see now. You're going to want to turn it on because it's pressure based, so it can only fill it up as it can only balance the pressure between what's in the machine and what's in the helmet. So you need to flip the lever to turn it on, and then let the, make sure the machine stays above ten. Um, otherwise, it'll it'll actually drain out of the helmet to balance the pressure if the pressure in there is less than what's in the helmet. So keep that in mind. And make sure to turn off the lever when you're done charging or it'll explode. I uh, was a little bit lazy and didn't set it up so that it'll automatically shut off. I'm kind of hoping that we don't forget to do that. As Pomar ignores my warnings and walks away with it left on. Hey, I thought I turned it off. Nope. All right, it's off now. So, yeah, buddy, I'm ready to go to a city. Let me just dump some things. I have 222 buckets of water in this drum, by the way. That which is I'll be a, bringing a with us. very large amount of water. Yeah. I'm pretty much planning to bring it with us. Oh, we have 256 buckets of lava. That's nice. We should have been using drums more often. They are obscenely expensive, to my knowledge. Uh, they are if you have Railcraft installed. If not, it's simply uh, six iron plus two iron pressure plates plus a crucible. Well, since you've done the theory crafting on this bow, I'm going to put my gun away. Yes, I did some testing. Uh, the, the gun's a little bit faster to shoot, right? You don't have a drawback distance, but it's about double damage when you have um, power four on your bow. Like I basically, you know, went into single player, tested the bow versus a gun and determined the bow was way better. All right, let's just get a couple more things done up. I want to repair my pan. Do you want to come back in a minute when we get out to the city and we want to start exploring those underground caves? Yeah, because I think we also want to get ourselves some torches or some sort. Some what? We are going to want to get something to light things up. Yes, that's the correct. You are 100% pie genius. You heard it here. Yep. All right, guys, we'll come back in a minute. Uh, when we're ready to do what we're doing. Direwolf, I am actually following you for the first time. I know where I'm going. Not really. Why are you falling? I don't know. Forgot not to take the jetpack off the hotbar thingy. You're terrifying. I know. That's time I caught myself before I died. So I've got that going for me. A flying formation behind you. I dropped down a bit. Cool. I see the city. Do you remember where the subway is in relation to where we show up at the city? Uh, I think it's a little bit more towards north. More north? Okay. 
I'm hoping these helmets will make it easy for us to see. I've definitely experienced it where if there's yep, too there many mobs. What are you, jetpack flying? No, just shift. Uh, you're like way ahead of me. There you are. All right, going down. All right, let's put on our helmets. Helmets on, tracking. Wait for it to initialize. Bow and frying pan at the ready. I see a Pahi target. I see a giant zombie pigman right through that wall. There's a vampire pigman there too. Those ones are terrifying because you can only kill them with wooden tools. Oh, really? Forget that. Yep. I don't want any part of that thing. Do we have any wooden tools? Nope. Okay, then. I wonder if uh, bow and arrow counts. I wonder as well. That's what I'm going for. Where'd you go? I cut through right. Okay. It's on the other side of this wall. Scary, scary, scary. Too scary for me. Yeah, don't forget to torch up. Yeah, let's leave those vampire pigmen there. I suspect there's a spawner causing that. Because if there's two right next to each other, probably spawner. Do you want to split up or do you want to stick together? Um, hmm. We should definitely be marking what is dead ends. Yeah. I usually do something like cobblestone. Yeah, come out there. I got some. Okay. okay. Cool. Podmar's got fancy cobblestone. This is interesting. This actually looks like the way we were in before. I think they're all very similar. Or well, actually, no, what I mean is I, th I think, like, I'm following torches, and I think we've been here before. I would agree with you, actually, because I just found a blaze in the same spot I normally did. What was that? I found a what chest what? and a spawner. Nice. In the wall. Oh, you know what? If there's chests hidden in the wall, I can uh, I can add a block detector to this thing. There's still a blaze there. Yeah, and I'm stuck. Oh, that's not that's not ideal. More dust all around. I'll go in there and get him. Target lost. That's cool. Anything good in that chest? Redstone ore. That's about it. Some jerky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we've been down this way. This is like the other way through the thing. Yep. What if there's anything through here? Oh, jeez. What? I forgot to bring arrows. Do you have extra arrows? No, I thought I had a stack on me. Are those vampire pigmen? No, just normal. Okay. So there's a spawner in here somewhere. There must be, yeah. Ah! Where'd he come from? He literally came out of nowhere. Look out behind you, dude. Plague zombie. Oof. Yeah, not fun. I'm gonna have to relog. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Okay. Oh, he hurt me bad. Plague zombie did? Yeah. Thankfully, I have that extra hang glider I made. I'm going to light up the general vicinity around the entrance, so hopefully it uh, discourages some mobs. While I'm waiting to regen. Cool. 
I am flying back. New hang glider. Pahamar died. Sorry, Pahamar. Lots of love there. It's okay. Dude, that zombie pigman literally appears out of nowhere. I think there is a spawner behind that wall. Oh boy. And I'm dead again. <laughs> I think I need to cover the wall up that I broke. And you're right, I forgot to initialize my spawn last time, so I better do it this time. Do you want to come back in a minute once we get back there again? Sure, I'm making you some hang glider. Alright, I need to relog. Okay, getting my gear. Palmar, did you make it back yet? Yeah, I'm here. And the sun's going down. Oh, jeepers creepers. That's not good. That's the worst kind of good. Yeah, we probably should have noticed and slept before we came out here, but... Oh, your gear's up here. Well, that's good, at least. I'm going to try and block off Where that wall so they can't spawn through the wall. Did I lose my helmet? Oh, great. No, something's messed up with my data. I gotta, really? I'll be back in a sec. i got to relog. All right, I think I got my tombstone. Nice, I've got all my stuff. Ah, dead again. We're not doing so good. We are not. Come back in a minute once I make it out there again. Oh, I'm really bummed. I can't find my, my Nematocraft helmet. Yeah. Yeah, let's come back. Okay. And I'm on fire. that silly book. Pahamar, I need help. Hold on, I've got my own situation. I don't like situations. Where are you at? Upstairs, in the building oh. across from where I died. Nice. I'm clearing out the spawners here, so hopefully we have a bit of a safe haven. Getting my corpse. And just running for it. Okay. Well, at least that solved the building situation. Alright, I'm getting up to a roof. Sounds like a plan. Sounds I'm like really plan. bummed my pneumaticraft helmet's gone. I have no idea where it's gone. Really? Yeah, it was not there when I came back and broke my tombstone. That's weird. I believe I have the same situation. You don't have your helmet either? No, maybe there's some kind of weird interaction bug with the tombstone and the helmet? Either that, or I wondered if it has to do with the clones. What was that giant lightning sound? Uh, that would be a lightning creeper. Oh, awesome. Pass. Um, alright, so I do have all my stuff back, but yes, I too am missing my pneumaticraft helmet that I just made. I'm gonna call that a bug. Does that mean I'm, you're gonna do what I think you're gonna do? I might give it back to myself. I mean, that's, that's 100% legit a bug. Like, it... It didn't drop. Goodness. Can we get out of here now? Well, I saw this over here, and I thought there might be loot. I'm getting out of here. No reward is worth this. I think we actually, believe it or not, I think we actually did explore, for the most part, um, the subway system there. Because we kind of looped around in a circle, and I don't think there's much else to see. The unfortunate thing, though, is that that was only one part of the subway. There's other parts. There's other entrances. Nuts to other entrances. You were so interested in going, and now you're like, eh. That's because I keep dying. And I, I had a feeling that, like, this armor I made that's all enchanted up might do a little something against these monsters. And it's like, no, you still die in one or two hits. I'm blind back home. Well, I gotta go back, so I gotta get my gear. Do you not have your gear? Did you not notice I died? I know you died. I thought you had gotten your gear back. 
I just died. Oh, just now? Yes. Then no, I had not noticed. Direwolf is sharing and caring. Yep. I'm worried about flying back. Why? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm almost home and I feel safe again. We do have a pretty cool bunker when looked at from the sky, by the way. The base? Yeah. Coming in for a landing. Coming in to get my That's stuff. That's cool. I like cover mode. Yeah, so I vote that we just cheat back our pneumatic helmets because shenanigans that we lost them. The only thing I can imagine is there's some kind of bug with, um, like I said, the, the whatchamacallit, the, the tombstones. All right, you want to come back in a minute after you've gotten your corpse? I've just gotten it, actually. Cool. You know, we might be out of, oh, we are out of saplings. Look at that. I was wondering why we weren't getting more water. Flying. And of course, because I'm curious, I want to check what's on this chest. Cool. Pahamara lives dangerously. This is a well-known fact. Let's see. There's my pan. Got my pan. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of done with the cities, Pahamar. I don't know. You're Maybe we'll done with the cities. Event. Alumite axe heads, two of them. That's not necessary at all. Dire wolf is a more like a scary wolf. Yeah, those cities are nasty, dude. Well, when it comes to the deadly PvP match, you know where I'll be. Yeah, I guess so. We'll see. Where's my arrows? Okay, want to come back once uh, you've gotten your gear? And you're back at home. Yeah, I'm just flying back, so let's come back in a sec when I land. Okay. And I'm back, Dyer. Okay, good. So, uh, I don't know, Pahamar. I'm starting to think there's not much at those cities that we don't already easily have, or, or if there's not much that we really need. Have we found anything recently that's like, hey, I'm really glad we got that? Um, that first city always seems to have a pretty good supply of redstone energy cells. The first city does, yeah. But, I mean, I, I would be okay going back to the first city, maybe, but... We've also cleared out a lot of the mobs. Right, that's what makes it a little bit better. You've got an arrow sticking out of you. It's just a flesh wound. Okay, good. So, I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up here, guys, and we'll come back next episode, and... I don't know, Bahamar. We might have to see what's left quest-wise and maybe a couple other things. I know I do want to work with uh, my Matic, if I can remember what I did with it, and work towards what I do with the Matic. I must have put it somewhere. I don't know where it is. I want to work towards getting um, those oats so we can finish up that quest for the horses. Yes. Yeah. Right? Maybe I left it outside. 100% in agreement on that. Okay. I have no idea what I did with either my Matic or my watering can, but it's got to be around here somewhere. So I'll track it down. Uh, for now, I think it's time to wrap up the episode, Bahamar. It probably is, to be honest. Yeah. I think it's a minute or two early, but I don't think there's much else that we can do today short of going back to the city, which I don't have any interest in doing after that last experience. You don't? No. Really? Scared of wolf. Scared of wolf. Yep, no idea what happened to my watering can or my matic. I am all kinds of confused. I'm going to blame it on the thing that probably took our helmets too. Maybe, but I don't think I had them on me when I died. I could go back and look at my footage, but Ooh, I didn't think so. I got six emeralds. That's enough to do the, emer the villager quest. Let's do that and wrap up. Okay. I noticed you decorated our house. 
Well, it makes me feel better about dying. So you're handing in the villager one? Yeah, I gotta go put the block of emerald in the chest here. Can you just manual submit it? No, it's gotta be done through the QED. Oh, really? Sweet! Claim reward! We have two villagers now. Nice. Well done, Bahamara. I'm good. Let's see, what's the next one? Oh, we should do wolf. Yeah! Wolf it up, yeah. Where do we want our villagers? Oh. I don't know, I just put it in a chest. Oh, man. Paul's friend's back. All right, I'm getting out of here then. Yeah. You know what we could do with those villagers, by the way? We could trap them in a safari net and, uh, yeah. Breed them. Breed them. Uh, well, yeah, well, we could use the mob spawner from MFR to make lots of them using mob essence and power. Oh, that is not fair. The Enderman teleported away just as my arrow was about to hit him. I don't think you can hit them with arrows. I think that's, like, intended. Well, that's just blatantly unfair. Well, yeah, they're Endermen. Why do you think I hate them so much? Yep, Aside from the fact that they constantly troll and cheat and do all kinds of other shenanigans, but yeah, no, they're jerks. Okay, well now oh, I'm locked in Mortal combat with this thing. He'll leave you alone. Is it daytime? You don't kill me. I may have right, my frying pan of death, but please don't. For now, Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off. I'm going to have to make a new watering can in Maddox because I really have no... Nice, dude. Well done. No idea what I did with him. I mean... Must be around here somewhere, but I'll find it. And then I'll be like, oh, right, I put it in there. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you later, guys.